Okay, so here's your a finished card with your petals, your button, your stem, and your two leaves. And then you're gonna glue all this down, of course. And then you can open it up and do your Mother's Day greeting. First thing I'm gonna do is the flower. So I'm going to fold it in half one time, like this. Open it up. I've got a crease down the middle. I'm gonna fold it in half again so that when I open it up, I have a X, okay? Then I'm gonna fold it in half again, diagonally, open it up, fold it in half again, diagonally the other way, so that when I open it, I have a vertical crease, a horizontal crease, I'm sorry, a vertical crease, a horizontal crease, and two diagonal creases. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut on those creases. Your triangle in front of you. Do you wanna come around here, Mr. Sure. Mick, just so they can see my viewpoint? Okay, so we've got our triangle. We're gonna fold it in half like this. Open it up, flip it over, turn it upside down. Wait, no, 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 like this. It's pointing downward. Then I'm gonna take these points and line up the edges in the middle so you make a little square, okay? Then you're gonna flip it over like this, turn it over, and then you're gonna fold these edges upward. So there's your one of your flower petals. Okay, then I'm gonna do the, this with all of these and I'm gonna put them together in the middle in a circle so it makes a flower. And then, and I'll show you, I'll do one and show it to you, one, a finished one. And then I'm gonna take my card, get in my wallpaper folder, find a fun background paper, cut it out, go over to my cart, or if you have glue and scissors in your desk, use those. I'm gonna glue my wallpaper to the front of my card. Then I'm gonna take all those petals that I folded, make a circle, attach my button in the middle. Then I'm gonna take my green paper Cut a long skinny rectangle for my stem and then I'm going to make two more origami folds just like this one. So I need to have a perfect square so I might have to get out a ruler or I can fold this up, cut off my flap to make a perfect square. And then do that same, those same creases, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, diagonal. Cut them, and then I'll have my little triangles to make my two leaves. So I'm gonna make all, I'm gonna make all this, and then I'll show you a finished product. Okay, to make um, your next origami bookmark, it will look like this and you can stick it on the corner of your book. Here's your page to keep your place when you're reading. You're gonna pick out a color of origami paper, turn it in front of you like a diamond, take this bottom point, fold it up, fold the bottom point down, crease it out, so it looks like that. Then you're gonna take the left point Fold it upward, tuck it under, crease, take
take the right point, fold it up, tuck it under, crease. Then if you want to make another colored insert, you just pick out your color, lay down your origami square, take a pencil or a pen, outline your square, cut it, and this was scrap paper, so I'm going to even up my edges, and then I'm going to Put some glue and then I'm going to stick it in inside. Then take my find some scrap paper maybe that a friend has and then I'm going to start decorating my bookmark. Maybe some eyes. glue those on. I could take a black marker and make my pupils, maybe some eyelashes, maybe some eyelids. And then I could take my scrap paper, cut some triangles, glue on some teeth, Maybe a tongue. And I'll glue all these pieces down. There you go. Okay, this is origami for kindergarten and first grade, and we're going to make a bunny. And the first thing you need to do is pick out your color of origami paper, and you're going to turn it, not like a square, but like a diamond. So you have a point at top, bottom, left, and right. And you're going to take a black marker or another dark colored marker and draw a face right here at the top, below this top point. So bunnies have their eyes, they have a triangle nose, two curved lines for their mouth, and a lot of times you can see their front teeth and some whiskers. After you draw your face, you're going to turn your origami paper over. You're going to fold up your paper. So you're going to take this bottom point, fold it up in the middle, line up that top point to the other top point and you're going to crease it out so it makes a triangle. Then you're going to take this bottom edge, fold it upward to make just a little bit of a line, like about that much. Fold it up, crease it. Then you're going to fold it in half, crease it, open it up, so you have a crease right down the middle. Then you're going to take this, this point, and you're going to fold it up, make it go upward, line up that edge, crease it up so you have an ear on the other side. Then you're going to fold this side up, crease it, turn it over, decorate your ears. And you have your bunny. Okay.